The Secret Life of Dogs and Babies is an episode of Arthur that's quite different because we have a very different perspective. It's the second segment of the third episode of the sixth series, or sixth season rather, and it actually starts off with a Rugrats parody that I loved. I grew up loving the Rugrats, and as I slowly got out of the age of watching the Rugrats, let's face it, I never got out of that age, but R Arthur was the next cartoon that I moved on to after the Rugrats, after Rugrats. So for me, that's something that is actually kind of delightful. There's also a Teletubbies parody in it <laughs> with a character called Stinky Pinky, which is a little bit weird, um, but I enjoyed it a lot. And the reason we have these parodies is because Kate, Arthur's baby sister, then passes some commentary on these shows uh, and how she wishes DW liked um, certain other shows. And the rest of the episode is from the perspective of Kate and Pal. The dog and the baby. The actual narrative isn't that interesting. Arthur's father is baking a cake for a wedding and he's lost the cake topper, the bride and the groom, and Kate sees the cake top cake, cake the cake topper, the cake topper on the floor, and she tells Pal that they need to get it because Pal and Kate can talk to each other. And just as they're about to try and do that, DW picks it up thinking it's one of her toys and bundles it into her little playhouse and they have to try and get this back to her father. That's not that interesting, it's not that exciting, but because we have this fresh perspective and these characters that we don't normally get to interact with, at least Kate, up until this point, Kate really hasn't been that prominent in any narrative. So now that we actually get to interact with her as a character, I think I think it's quite nice and it's quite sweet. So as a one-off, I quite liked it, but the narrative itself, as I said, wasn't that interesting, but it couldn't be that complicated because otherwise Kate wouldn't understand what was going on. So it worked well. I think it was a nice enough choice. The decision to focus on the cake topper and things, I thought it may not be the most fascinating, but because of the perspective, it's quite good fun. And there's a bit towards the end. I guess this is the last thing I'll say about it. So a tiny spoiler warning. Kate observes the adults and Pal points out that the adults are actually acting like children. And it's great to see these adults letting their hair down and releasing their inhibitions and it's really good fun and it's a really nice observation that I rather enjoyed. So it started off with a brilliant Rugrats parody that I just, I thought was adorable. I really did um, in the Teletubbies. And yeah, the narrative wasn't that interesting, but it worked because of the perspective. So as a one-off, The Secret Life of Babies and Dogs or Dogs and Babies is an episode that I quite enjoyed.